Since we were little, we've been thrown on one team after another. Soccer teams, project teams, work teams, you name it. And even though we have lots of experience being on teams, the only advice we've ever been given about how to be a good teammate is to play nice and everything will work out. But what if it doesn't? What if people spend more time politicking and posturing? What if people can't agree on which direction to take so they go nowhere? What if everyone is just looking out for themselves? Turns out, there's more to good teamwork than just playing nice. That's where the five behaviors of a cohesive team comes in. Based on Patrick Lincioni's New York Times best-selling book, The Five Dysfunctions of a Team, this simple but powerful model consists of five behaviors that people can master to become a better teammate and to start building stronger teams. Here's Patrick to explain those behaviors. There are five behaviors that all teams have to master to become true functional teams. The first is trust. Team members have to trust one another, which means they're vulnerable with one another. Vulnerability, which I think is one of the most important characteristics any human being can embrace in life, is nothing but admitting who you are as a person. It means they're capable of being completely honest and human with one another. That's important because it enables them to embrace the second behavior, which is conflict. Yes, conflict. When people are vulnerable and trustworthy with one another, they'll engage in conflict without fear. They'll debate issues and they'll be totally upfront with one another. As a result of that, they'll be able, be able to embrace the third behavior, which is commitment. They'll commit actively to decisions and they'll leave the room on the same page, totally committed to follow through on what they've agreed to. That commitment will give them the courage to hold each other accountable, knowing that they're doing nothing but reminding each other about what they intended to do from the beginning. And that accountability will ensure that they get results, that they're focused on the collective results of the team and not their individual needs. So it starts with trust, it goes to conflict, commitment, accountability, and ultimately, results. That's it. Now, ironically, it's not that complicated to build a team. It's pretty simple in theory, but it is hard because it requires a lot of work over time and a lot of courage, but it's worth it because the benefits of a great team are truly extraordinary. And it all starts with you. Teams are made up of individuals after all, and every individual has a part to play in making them stronger and more cohesive. It's how we get back to those teams that were fun and fulfilling and we couldn't wait to be a part of.